To add a prerequisite to an installation, we need to go to the Application Data section and the Redistributables view. To add an item to your project, all you have to do is select the checkbox of the item you want, rebuild the installation, and when you run the installer, it will take care of the rest. Let's say that the MegaView application requires the .NET Framework 4.0 full version. Let's go include that. Here's the .NET Framework prerequisites included with install shield. Let's go down to .NET Framework 4.0 full. When you include a prerequisite, what happens is that you run setup.exe, a dialog will pop up with a list of prerequisites to be installed on the user's machine. They will be installed, then the main installer will run, and you will see the typical user interface that you are used to. Let's rebuild this and test it. I'll open the release folder and boot up a virtual machine. I've booted a Windows 7 virtual machine and copied the installation files over. Let's run the installation. And immediately we get the setup prerequisites dialog. And it wants us to install Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0 full. This is because with each prerequisite, there are conditions encapsulated in the definition of the prerequisite, and it goes out and checks the target system to see if something's installed. If it's not, it's going to say that you need to install the prerequisite. And that's why it presents you with this list and tells you what needs to be installed. Let's install it. It's installed .NET 4.0, and now it wants to do a reboot. I'll click Yes. Windows 7 has come back up after the reboot, and since the prerequisites were finished installing, it went right into the main installation of MegaView. We'll install it. Now if we look in programs and features, we see that not only is MegaView installed, but also .NET Framework 4 extended, which is the full version. And that's an example of how you add a setup prerequisite to your installation.